Welcome, Kingdom family. I am glad and truly honored that you guys are actually tuning in and watching this video. You didn't have to. You could have kept scrolling down. You could have scrolled away. You could have just said, oh, I don't want to. I don't want to take my time out of my day to watch this. But you did, and I'm glad and honored that you guys actually did. So God bless you for that. Um, today's message is just something you know that people go through and struggle. Um dealing with the past um that's today's topic letting your past go so god can open future doors now the bible says that those who become new in christ behold all things are new old has passed away and behold the new has become now a lot of people will say, well, how can I get rid of my past when I continuously, you know, see the same people, I um, work with the same co-workers, I, you know, see my same family members. How is it possible for me to be able to take that leap of faith? And put my trust in something that I can't see. My trust in something that I don't really believe what you believe. Well, my only explanation is I don't have one. But, that's the thing. And this was so beautiful is that God does. You see, I don't know how you feel. I don't know how... You go through the course of your days, the course of your weeks, the course of your months, and even your years. But God does. And this is what we must understand. This is what we must start adding to our life is that we need faith. Think about it. Payday's Friday. You work Monday through Thursday. You know that your check's going to be in that office or your check's going to be deposited into your bank account. Friday morning, Friday afternoon, Friday evening, whatever it may be. You have enough faith to believe that your check is going to be there. Right? A lot of us do. Everybody does. Nobody ever has to worry about if you have a consistent job and you know that this is the day you get paid every single week. Every single week. So, you know... When you get to that office, your check is there. You know that if you had signed up for direct deposit with your job, that your check will be in your bank account. Whatever day, whatever hour it may be. So, my question to you is that you have that much faith in a paycheck. Now, just think about this. What if one day that check wasn't deposited into your account? Or your check wasn't there when you got there? Would you lose faith? Would you? I mean, uh, I can only imagine the face expressions, the anger that's going to build up when you get there and you say, what? My check's not here? What? I can't believe this. I've been waiting. I got bills to pay. I got my kids to feed. I got my car note to pay. I got my rent to pay. And my check is not here. Ladies and gentlemen, sometimes that's like God. Sometimes there's something that happened in our past. There's something that happened a long time ago. And we thought that it will never catch back up to us. My question to you is that, do you believe just because you did something in the past, that whatever you believe in karma or a different higher power, everybody believes in something? But my question to you is that, would you ever, ever think that God allows things to happen to catch your attention? Sometimes God has us in a cycle, a good cycle, because God knows what he's doing. So, you know, <clears throat> you wake up every morning, <clears throat> you take a shower. You brush your teeth, 
you iron your clothes for work, you're out the door by 8 o'clock, you go into work, you get out of work at 5, you come back home, you make a dinner or you order out, and then you start watching TV or whatever you do, you spend time with your family and then you go to bed. And the same thing happens and happens and happens. Well, the same thing with you and God. You see, there's something that you did in your past. Now God's going to let you go through the course of your years or weeks or days or months or whatever it may be for it to catch back up to you. So you've done something. Now it's coming to the point where you're like, wow, you know, I know I did wrong, but it's not going to catch up to me. So you think. And then you come to a point where you're like, oh, I'm losing hours at work. And now you come to a point where my check's not in the office. What is going on? Well, ladies and gentlemen, your past catches up to you. Sometimes God uses your past as a hand to work to catch your attention. God wants new things for you. But you're still settling for the old things that's in back of you. You see, we focus too much on yesterday's mistakes and don't focus on tomorrow's victories we must come to a point in our life where we say God I'm gonna trust you God I'm gonna believe in you my checks not here my bills need to get paid but you know what I'm, I'm just gonna believe you I'm just gonna you know I'm just gonna whatever it takes God you know um, whether I have to go out and help somebody whether I gotta go back to the person that I hurt and say sorry to them to make up for it sometimes God brings things back up so that we can settle them because God cannot allow us to bring old mentalities into future smiles it's just impossible God wants you to be in your future not regretting your past this is why the Bible says that behold all things that are new in Christ. Behold, all things are new. The old has passed away. God is trying to pass away your old thoughts, your old thinking, your old whatever you do. God wants to get rid of that. God wants to give you a future. God wants to give you above and beyond. But you can't allow that because everything takes faith. You may miss your check that week, but you have to have faith that you might have three checks the following week. You may not have no gas in your tank this week, but you have to believe God that you'll have more than enough gas for two months. You may not have no food in your refrigerator, but you have to believe God that he will provide. People will start bringing you food. People will start saying, God laid this on my heart to give you this. It takes faith. And when you have faith, your future, God can open doors. Faith is the key to unlocking the future doors and successful things that God has for you. But it's only up to you. It's not up to God. It's not up to God. Because you got to be willing for God to work on your behalf. As long as you keep murmuring is as long as you stay in your wilderness experience. As long as you keep speaking, faith in life is as quick as you'll be coming to your promised land. That land flowing with milk and honey do you want that do you truly want that it takes faith so God wants you to have faith so he can use that key to unlock your successful future things in life God bless you and I pray that this message will just touch you and just be able to for you to pass it down to somebody else who is hurting and struggling right now because we are our brothers and sisters keepers. God bless y'all. It's Kingdom Benz. Subscribe to my channel. Get these messages out there. Be a help to somebody. Be a light. A hand of light. To pull somebody out of the pit of darkness. In the pit of distress. The pit of stress. The pit of whatever they may be going through and enduring. You are a kingdom citizen. And you are a child of the Most High. God bless y'all. Peace.